So right now it is the uh, full eclipse going on. Um, and it looks kind of like where you're in tinted glass. It's only 10 in the morning, but uh, it looks bright and sunny. But if you're here, you could see it looks like it's kind of tinted glass. So it's pretty cool. Down in Oregon, it's complete totality, like completely covered here. Not so much, but it's still pretty awesome. Alright, so the bench is officially done. We just need to uh, get cushions for it. Um, I actually was going to go and try to make cushions and then I realized how expensive foam was. Like foam, like three inch foam um, was like $50 a yard. <laughs> so I just feel like Although it'd be fun to make my own cushions, I can probably buy them cheaper. So anyway, so um, the bench is done. It is nice and solid. We let the girls um, color on it with chalk. Um, who knows, maybe I'll paint it later. Um, but the fun with chalk is that it'll wash away. Um, and then I painted rocks. And so we're using those to decorate them. There's a little mountain scene with some deer. And um, so these are decorating. I love my little panda rock. And uh, yeah, oh, here's, this is Zoe's artwork back here. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna put a little plant here. We'll probably have citronella candle over on the other side. And then here's some other rocks. So we have a Wilson rock and then a little elephant rock that I really like that I did. So, um, here, you wanna sit? Whoa! Don't fall through! <gasps> There's the little Zetermeister! Yeah! <laughs> Sitting on the bench! Woo! <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know if Herschel has talked to you or not about this, but um, we, this project took us, let's see, 14 cinder blocks, um, two, about a tube and a half of cement adhesive, and then we used six four by fours, and they're eight foot long. So um, all of that at Home Depot, um, and uh, yeah, so we have our bench, and then we got some gravel to kind of level it out. And uh, it is sturdy and it's not going anywhere. So we'll be able to enjoy it for years to come. Okay, so that guy right there, I don't think you can probably see it very well, but there he is, running right there, is the rooster. So you can kind of see, these are two of the same breeds. There's a good image of him right there. So there's the hen, he's the rooster. He's a pretty big dude. I don't know if you could, how good you could see that, but yeah, that's our problem. The next project, of course, you know, Noelle showed you the uh, bench complete now with the uh, kit cups. She showed you the bench and basically all of the rock work um, that was done. I mean, the kids also did this too. But the next project is to probably either get rid of this fire pit or we're going to um, use this one. And it is to sink this down a little bit and then put brick around it. Eventually this area here uh, below is going to have gravel or something down uh, just so that because this spot right here is kind of sunken in so our hope is to basically fill this in so this will be another area to kind of relax in. If in the future we may add another half bench so if you're looking at this so from here to here, we would add a half bench and it wouldn't have a back to it and we would put it on both sides of this uh, particular bench here. So where the girl's chair is sitting, something like that over there. And then over here where the hose and stuff like that is. The final thing is this old 
grill, which is an electric grill. It's actually pretty good. You can cook turkeys in the thing. But we're going to, and it's just sitting on cardboard so that it doesn't get bogged down into the dirt. But eventually, um, this is going to be a concrete pad, which Noel makes fun of. And either we're going to keep this grill or change it out, obviously, get a uh, gas grill. And that project, as well as sinking this down into the ground, as well as filling this in with gravel, will all be next year's project. So this is basically our sunflower wildflower patch. Uh, we have some uh, red clover down there. Uh, I don't know what this purple flower deal is here, but it attracts a lot of bees. Uh, this right here is borage, which is starting to come together pretty well. Uh, don't know what this flower is, but all of a sudden the other day it just popped out. It has a whole lot of pollen in it. Uh, and then of course this is one sunflower bush all on its own these are bachelor buttons down here echinacea and that's bee balm these are just some monstrous what are these again these oh these are large winter squash and then uh, right here this is a giant uh, not really but it's a large sunflower this is actually all from seed so this plant and all of this is all from seed. This uh, is not from seed. These are not from seed. But uh, all the corn, everything there is from seed. So we've been pretty busy. Um, this has been pretty fantastic, actually. Okay, I had to turn the, uh, the light up on that because I couldn't see anything. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we have some catnip also and some mint, which has gone to seed. I don't think I showed you that in the video, but yeah. Everything's been kind of crazy in terms of just overall growth. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the video about the bench. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.